Hey, what's good, man? This your boy Freddie C, man. Also known as Untamed Freddie, man. <clears throat> Coming to you live, man. Threes on TV, man. Shouts out to my boy, man. Man, how, how's it been since you've been back? Man, it's just a blessing to be back, man. First, giving out the honor and praise, praise and the glory to God, man, because without him, I wouldn't have made it during those 24 months and 10 days of incarceration. But being that I'm back home, man, everything good, man. I'm just trying to get back into the flow of things, man. I ain't trying to catch up. I'm trying to catch in, man, you know. Just trying to stay busy and stay productive, man. I'm glad that I was able to catch up with you and Threes Up TV, man, you know. Oh, yeah, it wouldn't even change. No other way. No other way. Um, I know Paris has changed since. I mean, I know I'm living up in C. When I come back, it's definitely different. I yeah, was yeah, yeah. So I know 24 months away. What are the biggest things you've seen change so far? Uh, Just within the community a lot, Dave. Uh, a lot of things have came up. You know, they done put a little water park downtown that wasn't there. They've knocked down a couple of... Uh, Buildings and things that wasn't up that really what that we didn't need, you know. I see they're trying to clean the city up and bring some things out, you know, just to, uh, for the upcoming youth and things, man. I've seen that uh, as I was gone, I was getting the newspaper seeing people uh, doing things for the community, back to school, get togethers, giving away backpacks and uh, toys and things, and and doing uh, the reverse the curse rally that uh, that had came about, man. You know, so that, that's just a blessing for uh, my boy Wesley to be able to come up with that and do that, man, within the two years that that's been up. I believe that's coming up again, but, you know, just seeing that, those type of things within the community just been a blessing, man, instead of, you know, everybody looking at us for the negativity and all those things that went on. It is a lot of positive things going on just to see the kids go to college. I've seen a lot of people go to college this upcoming year that came out, you know, from the... Uh, 2015 and 16 class from when I was gone. So, you know, that's a blessing. Oh, sign New up. high school and stuff. Side note on, on, on going to college. What, what do you think about the kid, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the basketball player we had this past year, man? What's, uh, what was the number? Pippen? Pippen. Uh, oh, Pippen, he, like, he scored business. Bro, what was uh, he, he like? He, he was, what was that right now? Uh, I, I, ain't gonna, I ain't for sure on that. I don't know the, the complete facts, but. Yeah, Lil Pipkins, man, Jalen Pipkins, up and coming, man. Yeah, like square business, man, for trying, real. Uh, uh, he would have took a look at uh, Merlin. Mm, yeah, I man, that's your real thing. He would get down there, man. Yeah, man. But other than that, he is a great kid, though, man. Yeah, he, 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 he nice man. with that rock, man. I got to catch up with that kid. He nice with that rock, man. So, uh, so we talking about the changes, all this positive stuff going on in Paris. It looks like Paris is going on a good route. Yeah. I mean, when you want to add in all the positivity, you got to talk about the music, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the music, the music live this way, man. We got a, a lot of up and coming artists, man. Uh, my partner 3G Slash, man. Him and 3G, uh, 3G Teasy, man. <clears throat> they hot right now with their music. He got a song. He just shot a video this past Sunday called Ye, featuring Trap Boy Freddy. He got the uh, the uh, the thirty round. You know, it's a few songs that got out. The gang, you know, featuring him and uh, uh, the she cat shrugs, right? she shrugs. Yeah, the cat she shrugs, man. So, you know, uh, you got J. Rick. He had a purse. You got uh, Blaze out of purse messing with that music. Uh, Dino Penny. You know, it's a few artists. Kenti. You know, it's a lot of upcoming artists, but. Like right now, my boy Slash got the juice, man. 3G Slash, he hot right now, man. Y'all follow him on uh on Instagram uh, at uh 3G Slash and on Twitter too, I believe. And, and uh that Snapchat, man. 3G Slash, man. Young Slash, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we talking now, you throwing out your arms, man. Yeah, yeah. You see, you get a single pair of right now. My top five. Order, five, one. five. My top five artists. Yeah. Uh, I'm excuse me, in Paris right now. My top five artists in Paris. Number one, Slash. Top of the list. Number one. I'm gonna go with Slash. Uh, my my number two artist. I'm gonna say uh, 
far as like bars and shit go that I just heard over the years, I'm gonna give it to uh to uh Brandon Coleman, man, Blaze. The number two. Number three, I gotta give it to Teasy. You know what I'm saying, my boy Teasy. You know, uh Four, I'm gonna say uh I'ma say uh Jay Rick. You know what I'm saying? And five, five, I'ma say, uh, I'ma say, uh, the cat Jig, man, he's from Louisiana, but he been in Paris for a while. He really got some, uh, I, I put him at, I feel like he really better than five, but I put him at five because I ain't just heard too much from him, but he lied too, though. Is there any other, you know, artists that under them that maybe are on the way or coming up a little bit of you know, with some good music? Uh, man, you got, uh, you got Lil Kenti that's doing this thing, man. Uh, hey, what's this other cat, man? Man, I don't be remembering all them cats' names, man. But uh, it, it's just a time period, man. You just got, you just got a YouTube it up. Uh, Paris, Texas, though, man. But right now, uh, Slash got the juice, man. You know, he doing this thing right now. He, he got the city in a chokehold. But shout out to everybody, man. That's just. That's just my top five. I could be missing some. It's been a while since I've heard some people. You know, so. But yeah, uh, shit. Slash, though, man. 3G Slash, man. They got the city in the choco. Y'all stay tuned for it. So, what do you think about, uh, since you talked a little bit on 3G Slash, what, what do you see, uh, him for the rest of this year? I mean, have you heard any rumors, maybe, any new features, tours, I'm gonna try to get a leak from you. Oh, uh, yeah, he, uh, he working, man. He, he working. Uh, y'all just stay tuned. I'm, I can give y'all more info on him uh, on that exact uh, where to follow him, man. Uh, you know. I have it, but uh, yeah, he, he going live right now. Ain't, ain't nobody in the city working harder than him. He, he got the city in the choco. You know what I'm saying? He actually not just putting on for for 3G. You know what I'm saying? He putting on for the whole city of Paris within itself. Just you know, coming down here. Shooting videos, going live, you know, throwing parties and the things that he has going on. So, without the year, y'all could just be expecting him to uh, drop a mixtape and be coming to a city near you. Okay. We're going to keep rolling. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. TV back with uh, Freddie C um, talking about a little bit of Paris, Texas, the music, the positivity, the changes, but we're going to go a little bit deeper in the changes, man. For the people that don't know anything about the three, tell us a little bit about the, the changes from when we were kids to pretty much now. Ah, uh, man, you know, we come, when we was coming up, we had the Boys and Girls Club in the PAL, which stood for the Police the Athletic League, but it was all positive. We had, uh, Reverend Martin, who who get with, got with us at a young age, and he used to throw parties on the weekend. Just you know, three dollars to get in, you know, for uh, the kids, man, just to give us something to do, so we wouldn't have to hang out on the corners or on the blocks on the weekend, being that it really wasn't nothing here coming up. Yeah. You know, we was able to go to the boys' club then when they was having lock-ins and basketball tournaments, and and be able to play baseball with them. And now coming up. Um, the boys club don't even have a baseball team, you know, uh, they, they, we had the Pyros, you know, it was a traveling league team for the few people that was uh, talented enough to come together as a team and be able to go somewhere else to adventure off and play somewhere else. For kids now, they don't have that, so they're having to go to Dallas just in order to get with an a, a AAU team to, you know, to travel off and adventure to play ball all year round. And how far you know, Dallas compares for the people that don't know? Dallas is like an hour and 30 minutes from here. You know what I'm saying? Depending on what part of the city that you're going to. You know, so. It's just it's just a lot different now. But they, they have more uh, more things going on within the schools for the kids now than with, when we was coming up. If you're actually involved in a school district with your kids around the Paris ISD school districts. You know, so that's a good thing, but... As far as like outside activity for the kids to do, it's not too much for them to do. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's really on us because back then we had like 
coaches volunteering to do things. Now, now it's hard to even get a get someone to go eat eat with their child at the school, you know? That type of thing. So it started within the city though, man. So, you know, we, we gotta be the change that we wanna see within the community. So what so what changes do you think uh will, will best benefit parents, you know, maybe uh, as, as far as culture, it doesn't even have to be as serious as, you know, into the education. But, you know, culture, adding what? Concerts, maybe, adding, you know, uh, people down. I mean, what, what can we do to make the city better and pop, you know? Yeah, it'd be nice to have some concerts, you know, just for, like, not just us, but for the, for the youth, for the youth, you know, for the younger kids. Like, uh... Everybody getting together, you know, we getting together and just try to, how they got the Avengers Live, how they come to Dallas, you know, for something like that to come down here for the kids or to just, uh, just feel, you know, we, we, it really ain't nowhere to go for the kids to go. Ain't no teen clubs around here. They just redid the skating ring, so that finally looked like a little something for the kids to go have something to do, but it really ain't nothing here, so if we could get like, you know, some type of a building here for where the kids can just just go to to just go and meet on some positive things instead of just being on the block on Sundays, man. <laughs> you know, time to break the cycle, reverse the curse for real, man. Yeah, man, you just watched the Threes Up interview with Freddie C, man. Threes Up TV. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, man, at Untamed Freddie. That's U N T. A M E D F R E D D Y. Untamed Freddy, man. Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, man. Threes up.